advertising for the coffee crossover, when it first hit the market, urged, break out of the flow, and many decided to break out. Maka got almost a complete set of engines, including a 130 horsepower 1.7 turbo diesel, the only one from the line of engines that can well spur an almost one and a half ton crossover. In 2015, Opel left the Russian market. Therefore, we are already deprived of a significantly updated version of the crossover with the prefix X. The changes are clearly visible in the interior. The central display has become noticeably larger, a real tablet. There was a certain discipline in the climate control key block. The design has gotten tighter. The 1.8 liter aspirated has disappeared from the engine line. Now, in addition to diesel, Maka uses two equal volume 1.4 liter gasoline engines of various boost levels, 140 and 152 horsepower. A 152 horsepower version has a higher maximum speed, and up to hundreds such a car, with all wheel drive, accelerates 0.2s faster, despite even the automatic transmission instead of mechanics put to it. We also got two gasoline engines for 140 horses, a 1.4 liter turbo engine and a good old Opel 1.8 liter aspirated. The latter turned out to be more popular with us, perhaps because it could be bought with a six speed manual or automatic. Until the middle of 2014, the youngest relied only on the MCP. In general, you will not find serious complaints about the car on the network. Glitches do happen, of course. This is still an Opal with all the consequences, but in general, we repeat, the children's ailments of the crossover were bypassed. He is praised for the general positive background, the comfort of the front seats, excellent equipment, the quality of the finish of the original, but at the same time ergonomic, a rarity for Opal, interior. Many are even satisfied with the dynamics, although sometimes it is not easy to break out of the stream. But the Japanese Aizen submachine gun seems to be quite deservedly respected. So far, there are no complaints about its reliability, as they are not there for the operation of both motors, but this is, rather, beyond the youth of years. People also like handling, although the specialist, having paid tribute to the good course stability for a short wheelbase car, will quickly find an empty steering wheel, dangerous rolls and corners caused by a high center of mass, and simply banal windage. Maka flinches as a truck speeds by, leaves much to be desired and soundproofing. Well, since we have not yet been able to collect representative statistics of breakdowns, let's turn to generalized shortcomings, again, collected on the forums of the owners. Is it possible to consider a short line of motors as a disadvantage? Rather, the problem today is in official services, which are rarely able to solve complex issues with electronics. Here one of the misfortunes of the crossover is recalled. The system likes to turn off all-wheel drive at the most inopportune moment about which an unpleasant warning lights up on the scoreboard. Because of this, many are sure that the 4x4 works arbitrarily here, and the clutch is prone to overheating, which is not entirely true. An obvious minus is the lowered front lip, which collects snow in front of it in snowdrifts and quickly cracks on the curbs. Headlights fog up, and the AFL adaptive lighting correction system is often buggy, especially in cold weather with cold headlights. Almost all Maka owners do not agree with the wipers. Freezing, they scratch the glass, and the edge of the hood does not allow lifting them for cleaning. The search for a technological position, vertically in the middle, leads nowhere. Suspension. The suspension is somewhat stiff, and at high speeds, over 140 km h jumps are felt, which are quickly extinguished. It is believed that the suspension on the Maka is one of the strongest in the class, and in order to sway it up to 100,000 km, you need to try hard. However, strength should not be abused either. The car is designed for city driving. Transmission. The mechanical 5-step D16 is a development of the not-too-successful F16, whose hereditary sores are minimized. The 6-speed M32 is also quite a reliable unit. Both keep at least 200,000 kilometers. Various leaks may occur. In rare cases, by 100,000 kilometers, it is necessary to replace the bearings of the differential and the output shaft. The Jimovsky 6T40 assault rifle has been used on many models and has been well studied. He got to Mocha already in a modernized version. In general, this is a typical hydraulic machine without bright distinctive features. It serves 150 to 200,000 kilometers. It is advisable to reduce the oil change interval to 40,000 kilometers and install an additional radiator for urban use. Over time, 
the machine shows losses in the transmission of torque through the liquid. In manual mode, delays become especially noticeable. With these settings, perhaps Opel saves its automatic transmission for a longer service life. Allowing to fully equalize the speed of rotation of the shafts, he gently shifts gears. Engine. The 1.4 engine is not loaded at idle, which is why warming it up after starting is a problem. Excessive condensate forms in the pan, it simply cannot evaporate. After 100,000 kilometers, the CPG and phase shifters may make noise, which will have to be changed. Therefore, we still recommend choosing a 1.8 liter engine. Recently, prices for Opel cars have faltered in comparison with competitors. Today you can take a very good option at an affordable price. Maintenance will not bring any special costs either. But do not forget that Opel is great at losing value even in short periods of time. And Mocha is no exception. In Russia, cars of the Kaliningrad, Korean and Belarusian assembly were officially sold, in small quantities. There are versions with front axle drive and all-wheel drive. Russian sales were curtailed in 2015, so the restyled Mocha X, which appeared a year later, did not see the salons of our dealers. The gasoline aspirated 1.8, 140 horsepower has a good reputation and a resource of over 300,000 kilometers. Of the internal problems, flimsy phase shifters are distinguished, which are characteristic of many Opel motors of that period. They announce the approach of death with increased tapping. Of the external ones, current thermostats and a short-lived ignition module. The latter is officially changed only in the assembly, which is not cheap, but there are unofficial analogs on the market. The timing belt lives 50 to 60,000 kilometers, valve clearances need to be adjusted. Supercharged 1.4 engine with the same power is more whimsical. It does not tolerate low quality fuel in combination with loads at high speeds, sometimes pistons and partitions are destroyed. The thermostat and valve cover gasket may leak. In the turbine, the bypass valve actuator spring quickly fails, and the factory provides for the replacement of the entire assembly. Under favorable circumstances and careful care, the engine can live up to 300,000 kilometers, the timing chain runs up to 150,000. On both engines, after 100,000 kilometers, it makes sense to replace the crankcase ventilation valve. We have a rare 1.7 turbo diesel, 130 horsepower, to the capital runs 200 to 250,000 kilometers, and its turbocharger lasts the same amount. Weaknesses, heat exchanger gasket intolerant to non-native antifreeze, an EGR valve, which is desirable to be cleaned at every MOT. The Borg Warner rear axle clutch overheats quickly on viscous surfaces, and its control unit willingly collects dirt, moisture, and reagents, periodically cleaning of the connectors is required, so Maka is of little use for off-road, like other crossovers of this class. Miscellaneous. Ball bearings do not live long, sometimes they are changed after 30,000 kilometers. The resource of wheel bearings is about 60,000 kilometers. By the same time, struts and stabilizer bushings are often handed over by the same date. ABS sensors are short-lived, they may fail after 70 to 80,000 kilometers. The power steering reservoir is poorly located, which is why the fluid warms up for too long in cold weather, accelerating pump wear. In the Euro, the steering position sensor sometimes fails. Native windshield bursts easily, from stones, temperature changes, and for other reasons. The plastic of the front and rear optics sometimes cracks for no apparent reason. 